Our sixth question is, what happens to the force between two objects if the mass of one object is double? So here we have to discuss three different cases. This is the first case in which the mass of the one of the object, we are making it double. So what will happen to the force which is acting between them? So let us calculate that our original equation and formula is F equals to capital G capital M into small m divided by R square or D square. Here we are taking R that is a radius of the earth. Now the mass of the one of the object is double. So any one mass you can make it double. So here we are taking M equals to 2M we are taking and we are making it double. 2 into m we are taking. So let us take this value into this equation. So we will get here g 2 capital M into m divided by r square. Once we are taking this 2 to the front. So we will get g into capital M small m divided by r square. So here this formula is our original gravitational force formula. So here I am going to write F equals to. So here we are going to get 2 into F. So as a result when we are making one of the objects mass double. Our force will also double here when we are making one of the mass of the object double. So the force is directly proportional to the mass of the object. The second question is the distance between the objects is double and triple. So in first case we are making the distance double. So our force is F equals to G into capital M into small m divided by D square where D is the distance between two objects. In first case we are making this distance double. So here we are taking D equals to 2D. Why? Because we are making the distance double. So 2 into distance. So this value we are putting into this equation. So we are getting here G capital M into small m. And instead of D we are taking 2D and then 2 square. So we will get here capital G capital M small m divided by 2 square is 4 and then d square. So let us take this 4 out. So 1 divided by 4 into g capital M and small m divided by d square. Now this equation represents the force acting between two objects. So we can write here that 1 divided by 4 into f. So force has become one fourth here. Earlier the force was this and now the force has become one fourth. So as we are increasing the distance and specifically when we are making the distance double, our fourth will be reduced by one fourth. Now in second case we are making this distance tripled. So d equals to we are taking 3 into d. Because we are making the distance triple. So now let us put this value into this equation. We will get G capital M small m. And instead of D we are taking 3D. So 3D square. So we will get here. 3 square is 9 into D square. So let us take out this 9 out. We will get 1 divided by 9 into G. And the same equation of the force. This is the same equation of the force. So I can write here 1 divided by 9 into F. So when we are increasing the distance between two objects and we are making it triple. At that time force will be reduced to 1 ninth. Third question is when mass of the both objects is doubled. So our force equals to G capital M into small m divided by D square. 
Now we are making both objects mass double. So m equals to we are taking 2m and small m equals to we are taking 2 into small m. So let us put both the values over here. We will get g 2 capital M into 2 small m. Instead of m and small m, we have written here 2, 2 at front of both because we have doubleized the mass of these two objects. Divided by d square, the distance between these two objects. So g, this 2 and 2 we can multiply. So we will get here 4 capital M small m divided by d square. Let us take out this 4. So we will get 4 g capital M small m divided by d square. So this is our force. This is the formula of our force. So we can write here 4 into force. So when we are doubleize the mass of both of this object, our force will be 4 times higher than that of the older one. So hope this video has solved your doubt. In coming videos we are going to cover some important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then keep learning, keep sharing. Thank you.